Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mama and the Bag Brigade. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I call a cast on. This is a 41 peg loom. This is the biggest round, well, the biggest plastic round loom I have. This is 41 pegs. I have one that's a lighter colored pink that's 40 pegs. And then I have a really large uh, wooden round loom that's 120 pegs. This is the one I use for most of my adult large hats. And this is the one I'm using for the Bernat Blanket Yarn uh, panels. So this is Bernat Blanket Yarn. As you can see, it's a bulky six, very large. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you an E-Wrap cast on using this particular yarn. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my regular slip knot. And I'll put that here on the anchor peg, right there on this little peg right there. And then I just take and uh, I pull the yarn until it goes tight. And then I make sure, I if I can put that, make sure y'all can see that. And I make sure I have enough give here between this this peg and the, in this first peg that I'm gonna wrap so that when I go to hook over, that it will actually hook over and I don't have too much tension on it. So I just simply wrap and wrap and I'm just gonna wrap all the way around here. And of course it's very easy to tangle. So you may, you'll see the yarn's kind of off the screen, but uh, I'm gonna try to put this on the screen where you can see. And I'm just gonna kind of quickly do this as best I can. Remember, I'm really new at these tutorials, but some of my lovely friends have asked for tutorials, or at least an explanation as to what I do and how I get things to do what they do. It's not magic, I promise. I'm just always been a very fast learner and I've been doing this for less than a year. And there's wonderful tutorials out there for folks that are interested in loom uh, knitting. There's uh, loomahat.com who has an awesome channel and wonderful tutorials. There's Tutelet who has um, awesome tutorials. And, and Deborah Shaw, as I spoke about in my last video. And see, here I come to the last peg, this right here. And because I am knitting flat, meaning I'm not gonna be joining these two. I'm gonna just leave that hooked right like that. And then I'm going to wrap the next peg for my second wrap, because now we have to wrap double so that we can get the cast on. So this is called an E-wrap cast on, because you're gonna now go back the other direction so that you can knit over and to get started. This will give you your foundation for what you're doing. Now this could be your foundation for a hat if you if I was doing a hat, or this could be your foundation for the flat panels like I'm doing, or if you're doing a scarf, or a shawl, or just whatever you, your little hearts desire because you can do just about anything on these looms. I've even seen agarumi done on these looms. I, I'm not that talented as of yet, but it's only, I'm only a year in, so, or not quite a year in to my loom knitting. So, you know, anything's possible. I could, you know, decide to uh, branch out and decide to try, try some of that agarumi stuff. But right now, I just want to master a few things so that, you know, I could enjoy it because to me if it's not enjoyable then it's not worth my time I don't uh, I did this to cope with my mental illness and uh, which is bipolar disorder um, PTSD anxiety disorder and depression and um, this helps this helps me cope and so now that we have two we have two on on each peg just like this and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take this bottom one 
and take it up over the top like that. And now we're back down to just one. So if y'all could see that, see that? And that's all you do all the way around is you just take it and you just flip it up over the top. See that? And that's all we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do that right quick. I don't normally do it like this, where it's in front of like uh, on the table. I'm usually sitting in front on the couch in front of the TV. That's the easiest way, but I wanted to show y'all. I had a bunch of random unlabeled balls of Bernat in this box. I don't know what happened to the ball bands. I guess when I got started, I did, did some hats in the Bernat yarn and they didn't look right or whatever. I don't even remember what happened to them or what all so much has happened since I started. I don't remember what happened to some of the ball bands that was in there, but that's okay. My son is not that particular. He just wants a soft blanket made with love. And I can do that. I can do that for him. Everything I make is with love anyway, so there you have it. Whether it be from one of my loved ones or something I plan on selling or what have you, it's all made with love. Here we go, we're almost done with this. And there we are. We are ready for whatever we want to do with this loom, with this now, we are fully casted on. I will be doing ally, uh, like I did with the previous stitch, which is basically, since this is casted on, see this is, this is casted on, I'm just gonna turn around and wrap this around like that. And take, do it loosely so that it won't be too tight when you do this and then just flip it over like that and this is a little more time consuming because this is this yarn is so soft that you had to hold it in places to get it to cooperate with you but uh that is your e-wrap cast on on a 41 peg loom i thank you for watching i hope everybody's having a good day uh, remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friends at the shelter. I love you all. And uh, Jesus loves you and so do I. Bye.